I think when Wyeth, who's now sold, I believe, the business to Pfizer, but Wyeth donated PremPro to this study, they expected a very different result because for decades it was very clear that women who took hormone replacement, and the word hormone, again, is a misnomer in this case, but took their drugs, had better cardiac response. But that was before they added Depo-Provera. Those studies for years by women, two women, Grady and Rubin, showed that cardiac effects from taking hormones were all positive, but that was Premarin. And most women wouldn't take Depo-Provera. It was the least refilled prescription on the planet. It made them vomit. It gave them headaches. It was bizarre. So they would pick up their prescription, but they wouldn't take the Depo-Provera, and their hearts were fine. And the women on Premarin only, without a uterus in the Women's Health Initiative, did not have the cardiovascular effects that they saw on Prem Pro. It surprised the drug company who thought it would turn out all right after donating 20 years worth of their drug. And it set up a fear-mongering network among doctors and professionals that's completely unfounded. Now, should you be scared of taking Prem Pro? Oh, yes, it's a deadly combination. But women should have always been scared of taking Prem Pro. Logically, in order to make a drug from plant materials, they have to clip a side group chemically. And when you do that, it fits in different slots. It's like a pinball machine. Uh, that marble's going everywhere, and not necessarily where it should be.